Hello, my name is John. I'm your host, Games31, and welcome back to another episode. And you're probably wondering what this contraption is I'm wearing on my head. Well, to answer your question, it's called the Stuntmaster. It was released in 1993 by the company called uh, Victor Max, who are no longer around. And it, it, what it is, is this is back in the early 1990s. So let's go back to the early 1990s. I'm wearing hyper-color shirts, I'm going to the arcades, I'm playing a lot of Super Nintendo, a lot of Genesis, and I'm reading a lot of information about virtual reality. Nintendo dabbled into virtual reality with the, obviously the Virtual Boy. Even Atari and Sega to a point got their feet wet into virtual reality, but unfortunately none of their ideas really came to being. And Victor Max decided they're going to come up with this contraption, this headset, where you can actually play Super Nintendo games and Sega Genesis games in 3D, and if you move your head like so, it's actually going to uh, move the game as well. So if you're playing games like Doom or Star Fox, or virtual racing or whatever, you actually can steer with your head. So let's take a closer look at this contraption. Does it work? Well, let's find out. This is a closer look at the Victor Max Stunt Master. Retail for around 400 US dollars in 1993. Very expensive. It didn't, doesn't work very well and because of that reason and the fact that the high price tag, it didn't sell very well. Uh, no surprise, so quickly made it to the bargain bins. Interesting enough, Victor Max did not give up. In 1995, they did release a successor to this. It was called uh, the Cyber Max, and that didn't sell very well either. It had a little higher resolution screen, but still, it flopped, uh, unfortunately. Now, as I mentioned before, both Atari and Sega both uh, got their feet wet into virtual reality by programming, making a similar headset for their, their systems. Um, you know, Atari did it for the Jaguar, and Sega was working on it as well for their systems, but... Unfortunately, those the, it wasn't very cost effective. They didn't really end up releasing to the market. So this is what we got. This is the Victor Max uh, Setmaster, and it has two stereo speakers on the side here. As you can see, this is your adjustable head strap. It's almost too small for my head, but I got a fairly large head, so I, I imagine it would fit most people's head. And uh, on the side here, you're wondering what the stick is all about. As I mentioned before, it's got this motion tracking sensor. So it's supposedly to advertise that it's supposed to be, it's supposed to track if you move left or right. Well, that was basically simply this stick. And it's supposed to hit your shoulder, knowing if you're hit, move left or right. And honestly, it doesn't work at all. So I, it was, <laughs> at least I couldn't get it to work. But from what I've messed around with it, it just doesn't work very well at all. Let's see the very bottom here. We've got this mod here. I'm not sure what these switches do. These are mod switches. Uh, might make a difference if uh, maybe what game you're playing. I'm not sure what that's about. Get your sensitive, you know, all these adjustments, your sensitivity adjustment, your volume adjustment. You have your brightness and you have your, uh, your tint right here, brightness, tint. And then this is your reset button. The screen itself is, is, is honestly not very good. It's almost like looking at a, a Game Gear screen. Get a good shot of it. It's got some mirrors in there, it appears, so it kind of, it's the whole mirror effect is supposed to make it look appear 3D, but in reality, it, what it just does is it, makes, it causes it to, to blur out, almost look like you're seeing double or triple vision. It's very confusing and almost unplayable, to be honest with you. Let's adjust the brightness, and I'll show you what I mean by the resolution here. It's 200 by 300. There's a brightness. You can see almost it goes to green to, to white. And one thing I don't like about it also is uh, not enough padding. There's barely any padding, and for some reason right here, it makes a huge mark above my nose wearing this thing. So they should add a padding in here. Uh, it's just not very comfortable uh, to wear, unfortunately. It's just not very designed very well. Before I show you some game footage, let me show you how this thing actually hooks up. This thing is kind of confusing to hook up. There's a lot of wires, as you can see. Uh, it does hook up with both Genesis and Super Nintendo. This is the one for the Genesis. So you got this almost PC cable hooks up to the headset, and it splits off. And you've got your, your power AC adapter that would plug into here. You've got your connections here. This would plug into the back of your Genesis. And that just like you would a TV. So you get the image. And then one of these would plug into, this would plug into your controller. While this plugs into your actual Genesis system. So that's interesting. Same setup as for the Super Nintendo. Let me show you. We got this thing. Hooks up to the actual headset. This splits off. You get the two controllers the controller plugged into that one you get the other one plugged into the super nintendo all right and it does have a separate ac adapter uh so it does you know take up some space as far as on the wall space goes which is a bummer and i'm going to try to show you some gameplay now the headset is on you just plug it in it's going to turn on there's no on and off switch for it turn on the super nintendo system kind of hard to trick to show you because i got to hold it in one hand and hold the control in the other uh, let's adjust the brightness unfortunately the camcorder is not doing it justice but there's a dark 
and the light. It's no matter how you look at it, it always seems kind of washed out. And it's almost magnified when you watch it. It's almost like there's a it's a magnifying glass. It's kind of weird. It's magnified. It's, it's odd. You can kind of see the reflection a little bit. A lot of people have actually tried hacking this thing with success, so you can actually use AV outs, so you can hook up other systems to it. Also, uh, you can hook up like a DVD player to it or watch movies through it. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting, interesting device. It's a good idea, execute horribly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. I must have passed out, dude. Oh, I had the worst nightmare. Oh, dude, I can't believe I dreamt there was a terrible device for the Super Nintendo in, in Genesis. I, what the heck is that? Oh, no. No. Oh, shit.